Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk about something that nearly everyone experiences but few understand, why love hurts. Yes, I'm diving into the biology behind broken hearts. Have you ever wondered why a breakup feels like a physical pain in your heart? Well, there's a scientific explanation for that. It's called broken heart syndrome. Researchers have found that traumatic events like breakups, divorces, or even the death of a loved one can cause not just emotional but real physical pain in the area around your heart. This isn't just poetic language, it's a tangible condition linked directly to our emotions. Now let's talk about the roller coaster of romantic love. It's a thrilling ride, isn't it? Typically, this intense phase filled with euphoria, dependence, and yes, those famous butterflies lasts about a year. After this period, the relationship transitions into what is known as committed love. During this change, there's a spike in something called neurotrophin protein levels in newly formed couples. It's nature's way of shifting gears from exciting love to steady committed love. But there's more to it. Studies have shown that people in the early stages of love exhibit lower levels of serotonin, which you might recognize as the chemical associated with happiness and well-being. They also have higher levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. So, in a way, falling in love is like a stress test for your emotions. And here's a fun fact. When it comes to physical attraction, if you're looking for a fling, it's the body that often plays a bigger role than the face. However, for those seeking a long-term relationship, the face takes precedence. This distinction suggests that our bodies and minds are tuned to look for different cues depending on our relationship goals. So why does love hurt? Because it's a complex emotional, physical and psychological phenomenon. Our bodies respond to love and heartache in profound ways, influencing everything from our stress levels to our physical attractions. Thank you for watching and remember understanding the science behind our feelings can help us navigate them better. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with someone who might need to hear it today. Until next time, stay curious.